Hey guys, Tiffany here with GF Mom Certified. And so let me introduce you to a couple of my favorite, favorite baking and cooking um, tools, I guess you'd call them. Yeah, tools. So of course, the KitchenAid. The KitchenAid is awesome. I've had this one, sad to say, almost 20 years. Um, it is amazing. Actually, it might actually be 20 years this year. Um, so these things are like guaranteed for life. This one is pretty much an industrial standard. You can tell it's heavy duty. It's not one of the cheaper ones you'd get at Bed Bath & Beyond, but amazing, amazing. I love that you can screw on different attachments and do all kinds of stuff with this. It's awesome. Another thing we love is we love these metal bowls. Now these are from Pampered Chef, but the cool thing is they've got the non-slip bottom, so you put them on the counter and they really don't slide around. This one's wet. Um, remember, when you're cooking gluten-free and you've got a dual household, you want something like this that you can scratch and make sure you get all the protein structures out, or even if you have a peanut allergy or something like that and you're sharing bowls. Um, a whisk. A good whisk, this one's rounded at the end, but a good way to tell that you have a good whisk is for it to be able to stand on its own and actually stand up straight. Then you know it's a balanced whisk, so that's a really cool tip. We always, 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 I got all kinds of them over here. Again, I said metal, right? So these are our measuring um, teaspoons and tablespoons and again, model over plastic any day. There is a plastic guy back here, but that's because he's the oat scoop and that's all he goes to. Um, again, dry measuring cups. Again, model. Love these suckers. And if I could show you, I don't know if I can grab it quickly enough, how much I love metal. I don't see it. Anyway, how much I love metal measuring cups. I actually have one from like the depression age for my grandma. Um, it's awesome. Okay, so again, these are metal. Wooden spoons. You need a wooden spoon in your baking supplies, but you want to wash them by hand. And you also want to, if you just went gluten-free or you've never exchanged or since you went gluten-free, you need to throw them away and go buy a new set because they're porous. So if you have not changed them out, um, they would still have gluten proteins in the wood pores, and you would be poisoning yourself if you're celiac or intolerant. Ball jars are awesome for storing things. This one has fava um, water in it, which is chickpea water, which you can use as egg replacer. You just shake it. That's amazing. Um, you need wet measuring cups, just like you need dry measuring cups. So these are my wet measuring cups. Again, Pampered Chef. Kind of love them. Um, and then a good cookie scoop, right? Again, this is Pampered Chef, doesn't have to be. It's like an old-fashioned ice cream scoop. It, this one is one tablespoon. Um, you can get one teaspoon, whatever you want for your preferred cookie size, but you would then scoop your dough and stick it on your pants. You need one of these tools as well. The only other thing that I can tell you you need, absolute must when cooking gluten-free cookies, is either a silicone mat or parchment paper because they will not stick and you don't have to use spray. So those are the tips in the kitchen today. Um, again, these are tools and supplies that you're gonna want. And you're gonna want also our brand new Christmas cookbook, Santa's Gluten-Free Cookie Plate. So you can find that at gfmomcertified.com.